So I'm having a 4th of July party later on. You guys should come. 4th of July is still four days away. You're going to be stuck here. You might as well have some fun, right? Well, what about that water pump? I'll look for it later. After you're done getting wasted? Manny, was it dead? All of them, everything. Look at this. Start is fried. Lightning hit it? Not even close. I thought if I changed it, you, you got any idea what's going on? No, I'm on my way to find out. Try to uh, change the solenoids, please. The salt, fried. right. That's what I said. I told you that. The solenoids. Fun, no. Come on, like the Fourth of July. What's that? Who's Walk away over and over again. You all right? And me and this other guy be climbing. Where the hell did you go? Over on Lincoln Avenue. Okay. Did you see it? You saw the lightning. Were you near yeah, it? Yeah, twenty. When they flash that thing, everything lights up like Hiroshima. There's more. We're coming up on DC, team, but the situation has radically changed during our flight, and not for the better. The city just came under attack by an unknown terrorist force. We're going to coordinate defense efforts with S.H.I.E.L.D. Buckle up, and be ready for anything. During the 57th Inauguration Day ceremonies, Washington, D.C. is struck by a low-yield nuclear weapon killing David Adams and most of the U.S. Congress. The destruction of Washington, D.C. effectively breaks the chain of succession, sending the nation into chaos. In an emergency boat, the European Union deploys peacekeepers in the greater D.C. area to secure international interests.
Washington, D.C. is the number one target. It's, it's the symbol of everything that we stand for, the foundation uh, that the country was built on. The single greatest danger to the U.S. today is the danger that terrorists successfully explode a nuclear bomb devastating the heart of one of our great cities, a nuclear 9-11.